What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you a video on how to use this cane and recharge your kit. Basically, since your cane and filters, uh, air filters for your cars you don't throw out, when it's time to service them, you use this kit, which uh, cleans it and uh, puts oil on it again to filter out the air. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically clean up this filter and show you how to use this. First off, this was the original filter that came off the car. It's not a K&N. And upon inspection, you could see it's not in the best condition. I wouldn't reuse this at all. You could hear it. When I shake it, I could hear the rust in here. Any rust particles or dirt and stuff could get into your engine um, cylinders and mess up the engine. So I'm not going to use this. And this one is not a K&N filter either, <clears throat> but uh, it's cleaner. I had it on a previous car. It's just been sitting out, and it's a little dusty. That's it. Um, so, yeah, let's open this up. Well, first, let me show you the instructions. It's pretty simple. You spray the cleaning solution on the filter. You rinse it off. You let it dry, and you just spray the oil down. Let me show you what's in here. Alright, this is your cleaner. You basically spray this on and then put it, either put it in water or run it through water. This is your oil filter oil, air filter oil. What I want to do is, uh, I want to see how dirty this thing is. So I'm going to fill this up with water and kind of dunk it in there and see how, uh, how dirty it's been. Alright, so I got the K&N spray cleaner and the filter. So I'm going to spray it on. Shoots out a pretty good stream. like bleach almost all right so you get on the inside I should be wearing gloves sorry about that like I said this isn't a K&N filter so active super flow I don't know some aftermarket get on there I gotta do the inside Now we're going to dunk it in water. Alright, so now I'm going to dunk it in water. I am going to run it through water after. With, like this, with the sink or something. But I just want to see how dirty this is. So I'm just going to put it in here. Yeah, you can see. You can see all the dirt coming off. This filter was never cleaned before. And it was on a car previous. See the soap doing its job too. Yeah, look how dirty uh, that water became. Now, instructions don't say use a brush or use a you know sponge to clean it. It doesn't say any of that, so don't start uh, going at this with a sponge or heavy brush or anything. Just let the soap do its job. Let the soap, uh, once you spray it on, let the soap sit for like a minute so it could absorb into the cotton. But yeah, look at that dirty water. Ah, that's cool. 
See that dirty water? I'm gonna run it through the sink. So now we're gonna run it through the sink or through flowing water to get all the soap out. So, next step, how do you dry it? Just like this, you do nothing. Basically, you just let it air dry. So you clean it up. You do not want to use compressed air to dry this because the compressed air will, will rip through the cotton and then that'll create a space for dirt and debris to get into your, your intake getting into your cylinder wall, scratching it up, and blah blah blah. So just let this air dry. You know, just put it in the sun. And that's it. Let it air dry. So, I allowed to dry overnight. You touch the uh, filter, I feel no more water. Like I said in the beginning, this is not, this is not a K&N filter. But now I'm gonna spray with the oil. What this does, it uh, filters out all the dirt and stuff. I'm gonna start on the inside because I don't want to be grabbing it on the outside while I'm, uh, you know, while this is already wet. So like I said, this is not a Canon filter. It's not the flat ones, but has the same style cotton as the uh, as the other filter. So I'm gonna spray it on the inside. Can't really see, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it from the outside oh I'm wearing gloves too because you don't want this getting all over your hands I'm just doing a quick coat from what I could see from the outside you don't want to drench it all right so now oil is a little red too so so now I'm gonna do it on the pleats on the outside. Let me see what would be the easiest way to do this. Let me see. Like the instruction says you got to put in every pleat. Every pleat meaning every fold of the uh, filter. Now you kind of inspect it just to see if maybe you missed any spots. You see any dry spots? But this looks pretty much, pretty much completely uh, covered. Yeah, I got some residue over here. I'll wipe that off later. But it looks like it's pretty much covered. Yeah. Yeah, all you gotta do really, all you gotta do is really just inspect it, make sure you got it all. Let me see. I'm doing the edges over here. There you go. That's pretty much it. K and N filter kit recharge. Right here. And as per the instructions, it says to let it wick for like 20 minutes. Meaning you kind of got to let it dry. Before you can really install it. 
Oh, and one mistake I did was I didn't let this, the soap stay on here for like uh, 10 minutes. I let it stay for like maybe a minute or five minutes, but that was good enough to get all the dirt out. Oh, I didn't get the inside of here. Yeah, so don't drench it, just get a few coats. Make sure you get it all covered. And let it uh, let it dry up. Even though it's oil, but just let it, you know, let it sit for a minute. So what would you rather have, this? Nasty piece of shit, or this one? So yeah, thanks for watching guys. This is my, my review of the, uh, the Canon Recharge Kit with the filter. Thanks for watching.